Hi, this is Journey Mike Gravin coming to you from Chicago, as usual. And today I've got a fun clip. It's a little something we're going to call Sovereign Citizen Traffic Fail number 33. I just did one with Herbert Studd still, and we have to compare and contrast the, the screams of uh, pain at the end. <laughs> I, I, I got a lot of requests for it, and I got that question a lot in my comments on that video. Um, I took this video from Schrodinger's Cat and actually left in a little bit where he did statutory citations, but I, I cut it down a lot, um, and he has a great video, and I'll, I'll provide a link to that in the description below. Let's do it. What's up? Hello. Tiger, please. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Great. How are you? Good. We're being recorded just for you now. Oh, you're being recorded as well. Okay. I am putting on the e-rig. Um, so the reason I'm stopping you is because you don't have a license plate, and I don't see a temp tag. Um, can I, can I know why I need one? Why it's required. Ah, and here we go. Why do you need a license plate? You know why you need a license plate. We all know why you need a license plate. By whom? By the state of Oregon. Well, can you tell me who the state of Oregon is? <laughs> I don't know how to answer that question. That's a great question. Um, Genius. I mean, uh, I, I do have the right. I, re, I do have the right to use the highways and byways, right? You do. Do you have a valid license? If, license to do what? To drive. Oh, well, yeah, I'm not driving. You are driving. I saw you driving. No, 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 I'm traveling. I'm not, I'm not engaged in any commercial activity. Oh. You do, I don't understand. You can be driving and not engaging in commercial activity. It could be for personal business. It's not a business at all. I, I understand that. Okay. So I'm just telling you why I'm stopping you. Okay? Oh, I, well, I... No license. I actually like this. I've seen a ton, a ton of this, and he's making the I, I'm not engaged in commerce. You don't need to be engaged in commerce. It's absolutely irrelevant, but she's sticking it to him about that. She's saying, I don't, I don't see why you need to be. Or no license plate and no temp permit, right? So that's why I'm stopping you. Okay. I'm going to ask you for your license registration proof of insurance. Uh, and I'm, I respectfully decline. I, 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 don't, I don't know why you would be needing that. Considering I, I need to make sure that you can drive on the on the highway here. Those but I'm not driving. You were driving at the time. It, well, at like the time okay, what leads? It, I mean, I I don't really want, don't want to be rude or disrespectful. I'm just uh, I'm trying to understand what what why you would need a license to do something I have the right to do. Well, it's a privilege, right? Well, drive dri no, absolutely, driving is a privilege. Absolutely, I agree with there. Okay, okay. I agree. So you don't want to give me that? Well, I, I mean, I, I don't have one because I don't drive. But you were driving when I saw you. No, I no, mean, Miss, I'm, I'm. I don't want to argue about whether or not you were driving, right? Right. No, I don't either. I want. I'm, I'm trying to. I want to help as much as I can. Which is why I keep saying stupid stuff. Can I get? Uh, sorry, your name and badge number. Officer Bunyavath. <laughs> can you say that slower? Bunyavath. Okay. Correct. Uh, C Bunyavath. Do you have a number? A personnel Five, number? Eight, eight. Five eight four two five. Okay, thank you very much. So I'm, I'm I'd, I'd really like to just be free to travel down the road. I have to make sure that you have you have the proper documentation to do so. Uh, right. So can that I, includes having a valid driver license. Can I ask what makes you think I'm engaged in commercial activity? I that's that's not why I'm stopping you, and that's not what I. So I think that's irrelevant to the stop. I, see, I think otherwise. <laughs> That, that's awesome. She just blew his mind with that. I, I mean, all of this is, is sort of dopey and it doesn't make any sense, but she is really sticking it to him on the the merits, which they usually don't bother doing. And I'm kind of enjoying it. Commercial activity? Yeah, yeah. So why do you, why do you think I'm, I'm curious about that? Why are you asking me about that? <laughs> why, why don't you know the difference? That's what. Uh, that is an admission right there that I have no idea. I have no idea. I followed a, a stupid script that I got online, and I am now at the end of the script, and I've got no thing to, in here to help me. But I wonder. <laughs> My right and a privilege. I don't understand. Well, why would you think that I that I don't have the right to use my my property? 
So I'm not I'm not disputing that, right? Okay. I am conducting a traffic stop. Okay. I pulled you over because you don't have a license plate or a temporary permit. Certainly. Okay. Now I need to make sure that you have the proper the proper documentation to operate a vehicle on a public highway. Oh, and and I I heard what you said, but I'm confused as far as you keep saying I'm operating a vehicle on the highways. You're operating a vehicle. <laughs> He's confused about this concept. If at the time I stopped you, okay? Okay, I, I get what you're saying. I don't, but I don't understand what makes you think I'm engaged in commercial activity. I, at no point did I say I think you're engaged in commercial activity. Boom. She never said it and it's irrelevant. And she basically previously got you to admit that it is relevant, or at least that you have no argument that it is relevant. Okay, okay so why the inquiry? Why what? Why the inquiry then? There's no inquiry into any commercial anything. All I need is your license, registration, proof of insurance. I, 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 <laughs> is there something you don't want to tell me? I, I uh, no, I'm trying to cooperate. So I got a can of, uh, can I reach for this? This is just a can of artichokes. Okay. An empty can. I'm curious what that was. <laughs> empty can. Oh, yeah. Who, who doesn't have a can of artichokes <laughs> on hand at the traffic stop? Can of artichokes. Okay. <laughs> can I get your name at least? I, I, I use the name Adam, you know, from time to time. I've been known to use the name Adam. Okay. Adam, is there a reason you don't want to give me your information? I, have, do you suspect me of a crime? No, I'm, I'm pulling you over for a traffic stop. That's not a crime, it's a violation. A citation for what? Well, you're not, you're not proving that you have valid driving privileges. You're not providing me proof of insurance, which is required. For operating a vehicle upon a public highway in a in registration which has to be in the vehicle at all times okay now now with that said i'm not committing a crime yet yet are you well, i mean that's what i'm saying I, you don't suspect me of a crime yet should i that's what well that's what i'm saying i'm clarifying you don't suspect me of a crime right now no this is a violation okay i I'm, i pulled you over for a I, traffic violation Unless I'm going, unless I'm being arrested for something, I would like to remain private. Okay, so, like I said, if you choose to do so, you will be detained, so that I can identify you for the purposes of issue, issuing you a citation. But you see, I don't understand the citation. If I haven't committed a crime, who is charging okay. me? Adams, can you please just give I, me something? Well, that's what I, I, I'm trying to understand before I give you something that I have that I have the right to remain, uh, what do you call it? Private. <laughs> right? No? I mean, I, I don't want to get violent. I don't want you guys to get violent at all. I'm trying to prevent this. You guys are supposed to de-escalate. I, absolutely. Right. And, and unless I've committed a crime, I don't believe, I don't believe, unless you can show me the law that requires me to prove something to you without, without suspecting me of a crime. Well, that's easy. It's Oregon Revised Statute 807.570. Failure to carry and present. Feel free to pause the video and read it. I'm just kidding. You can't read. I'd like to decline and remain private. I really like my privacy. Your privacy. It's about my privacy, and okay. if you guys want to exchange information, if you want to give me your information, I may, I may. You may what? I may decide to exchange, but. <laughs> Let me think about that. Um, no, just give me your license. Adam, do you have any weapons in the vehicle? I do not. I do not. Did you happen to see the notice in the back window? Private property? Uh-oh. It could be a little dirty, but you okay. should be able to see it. You can wipe the dust off if you like. Okay. <laughs> so oh, if you guys come you. to a conclusion, like what what you want from me, like I don't... Yeah. You guys have a scam going, and I caught you. I caught you guys like a freaking scam. <laughs> this is crazy. I busted you. You guys are busted. Hey, how's it going? Wait, what, can I have your name and badge number? Can I have your name and badge number? Can I have your name and badge number, please? Sergeant Rivera, Tiger, please. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. So, here's the deal. You gotta identify who you are. You gotta identify. I don't... You could go on with your... Can I ask why? You're gonna go on with your thing. We're not gonna go in this roundabout. Sounds like there's been three officers here already dealing with you about this. Okay? I'm trying to figure out why. For your violation. What violation? Is, it, is that a... 
So we're not going to go around. Did I commit a crime? Violation. You're going to identify yourself first. Is that a misdemeanor or a, a, a violation? Third is, time. It a, is it a misdemeanor Third or time felony? You could turn this into whatever you want to do. I'm not trying to turn it into any. Okay, I, so I just you like step out and identify yourself. If you fight us, it's going to be a problem. I don't want to fight. If you guys are going to take, I don't either. If you guys are going to take me unlawfully. I'm not going to put up any sort of you fight. You you're going to identify yourself, so step on out and identify yourself. I'd like to remain silent from here. My name? How do you know my name? Like, how? Uh, I don't know. Your what name. is my Why name? Are you going around? Do I have a name? Do I, I mean, do I have. I know the name that I Why am authorized to use. If you guys can articulate a crime, if just you can articulate a crime. Just give us your name and we'll go in there and then here's your citation. You go on your way. Do I have the right to remain private? No, you are going to identify yourself for your for the citation for the violation, or then it's failure to carry a present. Then you could go to jail, and then we identify who you are through fingerprints once you go to jail. So it's up to you. I'll let you make that decision here. I'm going to let you make the decision whether you're going to violate my rights or not. So I'm going to remain silent from here on out. You know the law. You know the law. You know the law. Because I don't want. I choose not to work with you. I will not fight you in any way, shape, or form. Let's get that clear. I don't want to either. Okay, I will not fight you, but you're going to make the decision whether you want to violate me or not. Identify who you are. If I've broken the law. Violation. So the, the, wait, wait, wait. The is that a felony or, or a misdemeanor? Is that a failure? Is, excuse me, is it felony, it's felony or a misdemeanor? I mean, this is, again, this is your choice, guys. Right, can I get your name too, please? No? Are you refusing to identify? Officer something. I, I can't see his name. He's covering his name, uh, badge number. His name. I can't see his badge, so. Interfering with what? What am I interfering with? Your ability to contract with me? Do you guys want to, if you guys want to violate me, I don't consent to searches. I'm not trying to fight you guys. I just want to, I want to remain. I want to remain safe and, you know, if I've committed a crime, please let me know what crime I have committed. Not since you guys have been here, because I haven't committed a crime until you're uh, fabricating one out of asserting my rights. I know I haven't committed any crimes. I know that. that I, I'm, I'm taking that very threatening because you guys will have to violate my rights to take me to jail. So this is all. Oh man, I'm taking that very threatening. That that is a nice precursor as to uh, what comes up here. All documented to a cloud. You guys would be committing burglary, um, unlawful entry to to. Well, that's not, it's not a motor vehicle, so. But it, it'll be burglary entering a entering. It's just hilarious to watch him try to law talk. <laughs> I mean, he's he's just not getting there at all. A space with the intent to commit a crime. Adam, what about an Sorry, I, I unless I unless I'm suspected of a crime, I'd like to remain private. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a peaceful person. There's no reason to. There's no reason I have to tell you guys who I am, especially if you don't tell me who you are. Who I'm? You told me your name, but will you give me your uh, home address, like you're gonna require of me? No, I didn't think so. And by United States code, I have that right to get exchange exchange any information that you're asking of me. Because you are asking, correct? You're asking. Look, see, you don't have the right to tell me. You don't have rights, actually. You don't have the authority to tell me. Are you guys conspiring right now? Because it sounds a lot like you're conspiring. <laughs> you are, yes. I respect, respect that. But you are involved. Well, yeah, they're they're making their plan to come get you out of that car and get your ID. Sure. You are, and you know what? As a matter of fact, if you if you don't protect my rights and you're helping them, then you're aiding and abetting. You break my windows, uh -oh. and I'm not going to be happy. Oh no, no. I, I think he's going to call Barris Law and, and charge him with capital felony treason. I mean, there's there's he's got no other choice. You guys, you guys will be liable for it. You cut my safety strap, dude, and you're going to pay for it. I'm not going to fight you at all, but I don't want to be... No. Hey, you are... Cut my safety strap, dude, and you're going to pay for it. Oh, it's beautiful. You're fucking threatening me. I will get out if you guys are going to use violence.
I'm letting you know what's going on. Are you going to use violence if I don't get out? I just gave you the whole rundown. Are you going to use violence if I don't get out? Yes, we will. You will? Yep. You're threatening me. Yep. That if I don't, if I don't identify myself, if I don't give up my rights, you're going to violate right. me. Violence, we will. Okay, thank you. That's a threat. I'm getting out. I don't want violence. They're right in here. You guys are threatening me. Let this, for the record, I'm being threatened to get out of my property. I am being threatened. They're going to use in violence if I do not get out. Hold on. I'm, I, I see you're going to flip me over if I don't comply with your unlawful orders. Okay? Thank you. I'm putting this down. I'm getting out because I'm being threatened. You're threatening me, correct? You're threatening me? Are you threatening me? I need to know this. I don't want to... I am trying to know if you are going to, th if you are threatening me, I will get out. Okay? I'm getting out. If you are threatening me. Are you threatening me? I need to know this. I need to know this, guys. I need to know this. My hands are right here. Check it out. My hands are right here. If you are threatening me. Are you threatening me? I want to know. I want to know if I need to get out. I don't want to use violence. I don't want to. I just another video called uh, Sovereign Citizen Traffic Fail number 32. Uh, links in the description below. And that one, Herbert stood still, one of my favorites, uh, lets out an embarrassing yelp. And, uh, you know, you can see that that is where this is headed. The whole point of me doing this is I had uh, so many viewers tell me that th this scream was, was awful. And, and I've got to know. Tell me in the comments below. Tell me who, who screamed more embarrassingly, Herbert or Artichoke Man? Use violence. Are you threatening me? Are you threatening? Only if you're threatening me. I don't want to get out unless you're threatening me. Unless you're threatening me. Okay, you're threatening me then. You're threatening me? Or are you threatening me? Or are you threatening me? Are you threatening me? Okay, 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 Well, there you have it. Another very embarrassing scream. Uh, it, it is fantastic. It, I, I, I am curious as to, to see what the comments are. If, if that is worse than uh, Herbert Stud still in the last video, which is, which is pretty bad. This also puts me in mind of Howard Dean's R. Not all of it, but he, he goes he goes into a bit like that, and it really reminds me of that. I don't know. A lot of you might not be old enough to remember that, but it. it that, that's just what it makes me think of. Here at Law Talk, we like to have fun with uh, silly stuff that happens in court and every once in a while and completely by accident, I assure you, you might learn something. Thanks for watching.